Tom Becky is making a comeback making. Many wonders if this will unify the ANC. Hello and welcome back to the weekend. If you are new to the channel, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be able to watch our uploaded videos. During the period of the former president Jacob Zuma, Mbeki was nowhere to be seen, not even during the ANC meeting after the party's 52 conference and his recall in 2018. Where the two shall sit down and the two former president tell us what happened during the terms, then we can safely say the ANC is heading towards renewal and unity. The ANC Free State has invited former president Tabo Mbeki to address the provincial entering committee on the unity of the party at a meeting to take place this week. The last time Becky visited the Free State was in 2007. Relations between suspended ANC Secretary General Ace Magoshole and Becky are not good at all. Some say Magoshole was overlooked by Mbeki for a few years as a chairperson of the province. Zuma and Becky were in exile together. In 1997, at the ANC's 50th National Conference, the late Winnie Mandela was nominated from the floor for the position of deputy president of the ANC. She declined the position and Zuma emerged as deputy president. This started a partnership that we saw in 2005. After that famous speech in parliament by Mbeki in which he announced that he was releasing Zuma from his duties in government, Zuma subsequently staged a comeback and the rest is history. The removal of Zuma created a mess as divisions develop and groups develop. Many had to choose between the two leaders in the build-up to the 52nd elective conference in 2007. When Zuma was recalled, Mbeki was being invited by the ANC in Natal to give a lecture on the life of the late Robert in 2019. He got another invitation to speak during the 2021 local government elections by the ANC KZN. Mbeki has been attending some of the NEC meetings since Ramaphosa's era. Is he going to reunite with the ANC in the free state or we will witness the ROET faction pulling back because of the historical relations between Mbeki and Magoshole. The two former presidents are the only leaders who can help the party to unite. The ANC has never recovered from what happened at its 52nd conference. They can never be unity in the ANC if both these leaders do not make peace. Unity is a difficult process for anyone as people have to put their differences aside, talk to each other and find lasting political solution. Surprisingly, no one has ever asked former ANC deputy president why he chose to be on Zuma's slate as his deputy president when he served as secretary general in the build-up to the 52nd elective conference. Hope you enjoyed this video and please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be able to watch our uploaded videos and have a blessed day.